um, intermediate care facility um, out here in South Chesterfield, Virginia. This uh, facility is going to be a resident for five individuals. Um, they primarily have a um, diagnosis of intellectual disabilities um, and then they have some other physical disabilities as well. This is exciting for us to be able to have this really nice new house, five bedroom house for our uh, residents. So um, just like anybody getting a new house, there's a lot of excitement within our organization. So we're very proud to have been here. The house is fully ADA, um, and then we have five bedrooms, three and a half baths. Um, all the bathrooms are either roll-in showers or an accessible tub, which is great for our individuals. One of the major advantages of this house is one level. It's totally handicapped accessible. Walk-in showers, I'll actually walk in, walk in bathtub that are very beneficial for people who are dealing with some uh, development disabilities. The uh, staff has room here to be able to um, provide assistance. So we'll staff the house 24-7. They'll have access to 24-7 um, nursing care as well. Um, and then other disciplines such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, recreational therapy, and things like that. We also have a beautiful kitchen for individuals um, to either assist preparing meals or staff will prepare their meals for them. Two nice living spaces, um, one that we kind of dubbed a sunroom. Individuals will be able to spread out and kind of do their own thing. We also have office areas for the staff and supervisors as well as the nurse um, and a medication room as well. This building had a lot of hands kind of in the mix, so um, not only is it going to be just a beautiful and accessible residence for in our individuals that we serve, um, it also allowed students to kind of get real world experience on building a facility such as this. Most kids wouldn't be able to get that experience prior to graduating from high school. Well, actually, this is one of the uh, best things in, edu in public education I've ever been involved with. This is a wonderful deal right here. My kids are juniors and seniors, okay, and they're preparing to get started in life quicker than most other children. I'm real proud of them. I worked on this house for two years and I had about 60, 65 kids involved. The children learn how to give back. At first, all they want to do is learn how to be electricians. But when you see a 17-year-old boy sitting here and he's meeting a Down syndrome person that's going to live here in the group home, and uh, you see their, their tear up, you've done something. You've really accomplished something. And they learn the importance of giving back to the community. That's a big thing. Not, not a lot of young people get the opportunity to learn that while they're still in high school. This is a great partnership between Chesterfield Alternatives, um, the county schools, as well as the uh, mental health department from the county as well. It's just a great partnership that allows positive things to come from, from each side. It was a community effort, wasn't it? You had a lot of uh, county employees, you had a lot of school uh, students, of course with guidance from their uh, teachers, and then of course the private contractors that all contributed to it, as well as uh, people who have uh, donated additional time and money to help make this project possible. This is a beautiful home, and it's designed for purpose, so it will last and stay beautiful for a long time. It's a home to the guys who live here, and we have dedicated staff who will be on site with them at all times um, to make sure they get the care that they need. This is an uh, example of the kind of additional uh, affordable housing we need in the county. There is tremendous need, uh, increasingly with people with serious mental illness, that needs stability of a place to live to help themselves recover.